you want to use a controller on Minecraft Java Edition. Whether it's an Xbox controller, a PlayStation controller, Switch Pro controller, there's tons of different controllers. So many, in fact, there's actually a list right here of the different controllers that are supported. DualShock, DualSense, Xbox, Switch Pro, Joy-Cons, Steam Controller, Steam Deck, and more all can be used using the Midnight Controls mod. Now, this mod is a fabric mod. If you want to be able to use controllers on Minecraft Java Edition with Forge mods, we have this linked in the description down below, controllable, and this allows you to play Minecraft with Forge mods, but for this video, we're going to be using Midnight Controls, because it's actually updated to 1.20.2, that's one benefit, and another one is it's on fabric, so we might as well do that as well, to have both of these covered for you. So, nonetheless, once you're here, this is, by the way, is the second link in the description down below, and it will take you to Midnight Controls download page, click on versions, then what you want to do is find the 1.20.2 version, and click on the download button to the left hand side and the download will begin right away. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser, but generally it just downloads. We also need to download the Fabric API. This is a library API mod that's required for Midnight Controls to work. So you want to come here and of course click on the download Fabric API button to go to the Fabric API download page. Now one thing that's worth mentioning that was linked in the description as well. Once you're here you want to go ahead and click on files and then you want to find the uh, Fabric API we need which is the 1.20.2 version. Click the three dots next to it and click download file. Well, this is downloading Humpbeds from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and customize your server however you want. And if you have any issues along the way, there's amazing live chat support and a high-quality help center to help you out. So you can check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, the Fabric API is downloaded, and there's one more thing we need, and that's Fabric itself. Fabric is the mod loader that allows the controller mod to work in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and once we're here, click download. This is our complete text guide on getting Fabric, by the way. If you want to go through things more at your own pace, that's a good way to do it, but click the download Fabric button to be taken to the Fabric download page. On this page, click on Download Universal Jar, and the download will begin right like so. As you can see, Fabric Installer has started downloading. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. The reason we clicked on Universal Jar there, by the way, is because no matter what, you're going to be able to get other Minecraft mods in the future without issue if you get the uh, .jar version. Nevertheless, let's move everything that we just downloaded to our desktop. It's going to be in My Downloads folder, but wherever it is for you, go find it, move it to your desktop. It's not going to live here forever, but it's going to be here for now. Once it's here, what we want to do is actually start off with the Fabric Installer here. Now, generally, you should be able to right-click on this, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, what you want to do is go to the description down below and get it. Java 17 specifically. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods and 1.20.2. So you want to come and get Java 17. This covers everything you need to know. In some cases, you may also need to run the jar fix. And what that's going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. At this point, though, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to go ahead and open up Fabric. Right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That then opens up the Fabric installer, where we want to make sure that 1.20.2 is selected, and then we want to go ahead and click Install. Now, the only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed, or if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.2 before. If that's the case, just go launch it up to the main menu, and then close out of it, and you're good to go. And we go ahead and click OK, and close out of the Fabric installer, and delete it from our desktop. Now let's get these mods installed. To do that, what we want to do is actually go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to go ahead and find our fabric installation. Now I'm going to have one. I know I'm going to have one, but if you don't, I'll show you what to do. And even if you have one, do not click play yet. We need to install the mods first. But nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on installations. And then we want to make sure modded is selected in the top right. As you can see, if modded is not selected, it's not there. If you check modded, there's fabric. If that's the case, go ahead and skip forward a little bit. Otherwise, if you don't have Fabric here or don't have the 1.20.2 version of Fabric, click New Installation. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then click the version drop-down box here and select Release Fabric Loader 1.20.2. Right here it is for me. You may need to scroll down a ways to find it for you, but it's towards the top for me. I'm also going to change resolution so you can see better once we get in-game, and then click Create. Now we have this new SimpleGameHosting.com profile that most importantly has Fabric Loader 1.20.2 under it. Now with that being said... How do we install these mods? Well, we want to hover over the fabric installation, either when you created or the one that was there by default, and click on the folder icon. This will open our Minecraft folder, and in here you should have a mods folder. But I don't have a mods folder. Well, if you don't, I don't either. See, there's no mods folder in here. So what you want to do is create one. Just right-click, 
new folder and title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then open up our mods folder from there we want to drag and drop the fabric api and most importantly midnight controls into the mods folder Boom, it's that easy to install the controller mod for Minecraft. Now what we want to do is just click play on the profile we created or the fabric installation, doesn't matter which one, and then go ahead and click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft. Now the controller mod's installed. All we've got to do from this point is plug the controller in and play. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to actually unplug my keyboard in order to do that. And uh, yeah, you could just plug an Xbox controller, placing controller via USB, Bluetooth, anything will work for it. Um, actually, hold on, I'm gonna have to use a different controller. This isn't USB-C, one second. USB-C controller acquired, and now I can just plug this in. Now, as soon as we plug it in, uh, we actually can start using it. As you can see, a controller input, X gamepad selected, and I can start using the D-pad to navigate around, as well as the, uh, you know, the, whatever it's called here, the joysticks. I can't believe I just blanked on that. But what's really cool is, let's say we come in here and we go to the options settings here, and then we want to navigate over to the top right, because the top right has this little icon that's never been there before. When you click on that, it's going to give you the controller configurations for Midnight Config, or specifically the Midnight Controller mod. As you can see, the mode that we're in can be changed, because I have mouse and keyboard, I'll go ahead and change that to controller, auto switch, all of that stuff, gameplay, different stuff like that. Generally, this is set up to feel very similar by uh, default to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So we can go ahead and of course jump into a Minecraft server on simplegamehosting.com and this will work. That's just it. It will just work. Um, it's really, really cool. It works on any Minecraft server that's out there as long as you don't have any other mods installed along with it, I should say it should work. And yeah, no issues whatsoever. We are now playing in Minecraft with a controller and um, yeah, you can switch just like you can on Bedrock, press Y to open your inventory, all of that stuff. And I believe you can even change sensitivities and everything. Um, you can run with double tapping forward and even fly by double tapping A. So really cool stuff here. Our FOV is also uh, a little messed up. So uh, we'll go ahead and move or fix that real fast. And what's cool is I'm doing all this with a controller and it is a bit slower than using a mouse and keyboard. But if you, uh, you know, are used to a controller and just getting into Java edition, it makes sense. It's a good way to transition over and uh, it'll feel it'll feel comfortable. It'll feel normal and, and just like you're playing on console or anything like that, but with getting all the Java Edition features. And what's really cool is this can actually be added alongside other mods. So let's say you wanted the Twilight Forest mod or Biomes of Plenty or something like that. You can add that into the mods folder and be able to use those mods or in our case, any fabric mods. But if you use controllable, any forge mods alongside using a controller. So really, really cool stuff and uh, honestly worth checking out if you're used to playing Minecraft with the controller and want to get into Java Edition. So nonetheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.